So this is the uh, two-part windshield solar shade. This is the dash half portion. It's uh, 85 rated watts. Um, so it's curved in that part there. But um, it leaves those vents open for defrosting here in the front. So that stays there, goes all the way up. But that allows me, if I left that on the dash, then the defroster would still work. Uh, and if left on the dash, it doesn't come past here. On the, on the front, so it doesn't impede or come into the car any. Um, now, as you can see, there's a little bit of glare coming off of that. So if you're driving in conditions, this is next to nothing. It doesn't really matter. Um, but if you're driving into, say, the sun or something, you either wouldn't want that on your dash or you would want some kind of matte or a matte finish or a thin matte blanket or something that would not have that glare. Now, uh, the white that I did, I did because of using as a parking solar shade. When I'm not converting to electricity, I want to be reflecting light as white. Um, however, you can see a little bit of a ghost image here as the white bounces off the windshield. Um, so. If that's distracting for you or a problem, then um, the company that makes these, uh, that, ma that made this can also make it as a black backer. And if it were black, then you wouldn't have that uh, reflection off the dash, off the windshield on the inside at all. Now there's little pieces of Velcro here and over there in the corner. And that prevents it from, if I, am, if I leave it on the dash, from sliding around. It won't go side to side, it won't come forward back. Um, so that's nice in that way. I got to tinker with it a little bit. Um, this wire isn't going to be permanent. It needs to track down through. Um, but the Velcro is also nice because it's weak enough that if I pull it up and pull it up, I can slide the panel forward. And that's the other reason for that curvature. So if it's curved, it fits into the curve of the windshield there. And then this fits up. So this is the lower half of the two-part front solar parking shade. Um, the second part fits in the top. Um, I'm not showing that right now. I still got to tinker with it a little bit for as far as mounting. Um, and of course, you can't be driving with the front part or with this up. That's just for parking purposes. Um, but if this other part is up, uh, that's um, a little bit more. I think it's like another 48 watts um, for the front. But this one, under some conditions, can be left in place on the dash um, without obstructing the defroster. And if the light's not fine, then you're not going to have any bad glare um, and things like that, if, if, if. Um, so there you go. Um, still needs a little more tinkering, but okay for now.